I don't really know how to start, but Hello guys, welcome to my channel. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Karina and I'm Swatch Queen. I have zero makeup and we are going to open my boxy charm box. <laughs> what time is it? Okay, so it's 2.05. I have to charge my phone. Do you guys want to see my makeup room? Or if you guys want to see my makeup collection, comment down below if you guys want to see that. Or do you want to see my skincare routine? Let me know, guys. All right, so this is my BoxyCharm. I already opened it. And it says Mrs. Karina Talbot. That's me. <laughs> All right, this is my BoxyCharm. I'll open it. Ta-da! This is BoxyCharm September 2019 and what's inside i'm so excited everybody gets that this is box number one there, there is number one heart right there at the corner and one heart includes bubble wrap <laughs> okay number one this big box right here is ooh, dr brand dr brand is actually very expensive i like their primer i use their primer it's pretty good this one is the hydrobiotic Recovery sleep sleep <laughs> recovery sleeping mask. What do you do with it? Deeply hydrates, moisturize to reduce redness. Oh, I need that. And signs of irritation. Locks in moisture to prevent water loss. So that's great. And it says here to apply mask to clean dry skin before bedtime. So it's a nighttime moisturizer. It says do not rinse and use nightly. I'm so excited. I like this. I have my morning routine and then nightly routine for my skin after I shower at night. So definitely I'm gonna try this. I love moisturizers, especially I'm 33 now, turning 34 in November. Girl, my skin needs moisturizer all the time. Your skin is different when you're 30 compared when you were 20. I don't know, guys, but I'm getting some wrinkles now. Starts at 33. <laughs> okay, so I love that. I love this one. It's the Hydrobiotic from Dr. Brent. Next is it's the Moda Pro 5-Piece Deluxe Eye Kit. I love detail brushes. Oh my. And these are so cute. They're so small. These are so small. Detail brushes. And I collect detail brushes. Especially when I'm doing videos, I need a lot of brushes. Oh, I like. I love how it feels. It has this like um, non-slip grip. Non-slip grip. There you go. <laughs> and it says here, oh, also tells you how to use them. Like this one says crease. This one says shade, line, um, smudger, and detail. Put eyeliner, smoke it. That's the smudger. See if you need the detailed blender. There you go. I think these are great. The quality is really good too. So that's good. I love this one. Again, this one is from Moda. Next in the box, there's three more. Violet Boss Essentials. Oh my gosh. Hooray, hooray. We're not getting cheap <laughs> palette. This one is in a in more expensive side. They are also at Sephora. I have tried Violet Voss before. This is a smaller palette compared to their regular palettes, but the pan sizes are the same. So pretty. This is very fall, huh? Especially these colors right here. I love it. This is very fall. Can I swatch it or do you guys want me to just give it away? Comment down box below if you guys want me to give this to you guys as a giveaway. All right, next is... Oh, the Billion Dollar Brows. This is Micro Blade Effect Brow Pen. Ooh, do you guys know about this? I already have one in my kit. Use it, there's like three lines. Can you guys see it? Yeah. I love these kinds of pens. And this one is very subtle. There you go. I made like three lines there. So there are four lines, it makes it, it makes your eyebrows look very microbladed. I love these kinds of um, eyebrow pens. I actually have one right here. It's called a contour eyebrow and I got this from Amazon and it works really great, especially when you already have your powder all makeup done. Don't use this before um, foundation or before powder. Use it after you apply everything else. I always add here for my eyebrows. You can see it better. 
over powder. Next is, I like this one. This one is from Hank and Henry. This is the Slick With It. I don't know if I pronounce that, if I call that correctly. It's a long wear liquid eyeliner. And this one is blickety black. I like that, blickety black. So it's still sealed. <laughs> Ooh, I'm excited about this box because I like all of the products. The packaging is brown. The cap is brown. So you would think it's a brown eyeliner, but it's black. Ooh, and this one is a brush. You know what? This reminds me of Kylie eyeliner. Her brush is the same as this. It also reminds me of this eyeliner. It's the UZ, the Uz eyeliner opening liner. And this, this one is from Japan. It's the same brush. It's like um, a haiku brush, like a Japanese writing brush inside. It's not felt. It's very pretty. You can be precise with detail, thin lines, and you can also put pressure and make thicker lines. All right, so how much is this box? This is, let's see, 29 plus Dr. Brand. It's $52, the moisturizer. Oh my gosh. Boxy Charm is 21, 21 per month. And you're getting a moisturizer worth $52. Wow. Violet Boss is 29. The Moda brush kit, which I love, is $27.95, so $28. Now Hank and Henry is $20, and the Billion Dollar Brow is $18. So this box is $146.95, $147 total. Wow, oh my gosh. I should get boxy locks. <laughs> so there you go, this is my boxy charm. Now, I want to use some of them. I'll show you guys how to use them. All right, first I'm going to cleanse. This is the Dr. Andrew Well from Origins Mega Mushroom Relief and Resilience. This is the Soothing Treatment Lotion. This is nice and I like this because it eliminates the redness of my face. It helps in any inflammation on my face. And I have psoriasis. So you guys know psoriasis is from inflammation. And it just helps my skin calm. I'm so lucky right now I don't have psoriasis on my face. I just have a little bit here. And I'm thinking about microblading my eyebrows. You guys know I can't microblade my eyebrows because I have psoriasis right here and here. If I get psoriasis while it's healing, it's just gonna come off $250 in the drain <laughs> or have one eyebrow microbladed and the other one not. For my foundation, I'm going in. My shirt sucks. For my foundation, I'm going in with the L'Oreal Infallible. I am 475 in foundation. I'm gonna get my beauty blender and stamp it. Everywhere. Have you guys seen um have you guys seen the color pop and Kathleen Light's So Jaded palette? It was released today. I think I'm gonna get it. It's the first big palette of color pop and it's history for makeup geeks like us, you know? We have to have it. Okay, so that's cute. Next I'm going to put concealer. For my concealer, I always use the Infallible fresh wear concealer and I'm in number 385 the amber that is my go-to if I want a lighter one 365 this is the cashew just like here and here to highlight and then for my contour I go honey 415 that's the secret all right I'm gonna put 385 right now which is amber so this is the perfect shade for me if you guys are medium shade from start shape tape this is your color so you guys be careful when you pick your color shades because when it's too light for you or your warm tone and you get a cooler tone it's going to get ashy and when it is too dark for you and your cooler tone skin and then you pick a warmer shade it's going to be muddy so you don't want to be ashy and you don't want to be muddy you want to be right exactly what your concealer is my skin is in the warm tone so I picked warm concealers. Foundation, you can trick it, but concealer, I find it really hard to trick or make it work. It's right on top of your foundation. That's what the powder is gonna hold on to. Going to use my beauty blender for my under eye. I'm going to blend my nose last, like the bridge of my nose. You want it a little bit dry when you blend that bridge so you can have that contour effect immediately. For my contour, this is the Honey 415. 
alive and valuable i'm going to get this it cosmetics brush dual brush and this is the number seven i guess can't remember but i think it's number seven and this is the best foundation brush in the market it's a very very good brush if you want to invest in a foundation brush this is it i've used a lot of foundation brushes and this is the best you want to blend that concealer right away because it's going to dry do not go anywhere no bathroom breaks <laughs> Just blend it right away. It's 2.26 right now. I'm picking up Kingston at three o'clock. Okay, so that's pretty. Let me sip some tea. Your tea never gets hot. It's just always cold. <laughs> All right, I'm going to contour my nose. I'm using Morphe bronzer. This is the Glam bronzer. Glam. Glam bronzer. Face and body bronzer. And this one is an icon. This is the lightest shade. And I use this for my nose. It's a very good shade for nose contour. It's not too harsh. It's so pretty. These bronzers are really good. I have two of them. I have the Megastar and Icon. The lightest and the medium shade. There are three shades. And these are $19 a piece. The trick is wait for the sale. What I did was buy them from Morphe and use my $3 350 dollar code and then I went back another day and used another 350 coupon for the other one. So I got two and I got $7 discount for two. Okay, next I'm gonna use the Mega Bronzer. Hold on. Let me blend my nose contour. All right. Yep. Okay, next I'm gonna get the Mega the Mega Star Bronzer. This is the medium shade. I'm going to get my bronzer brush. And this one is from Everyday Minerals. I used to love them and still love Everyday Minerals. But I used to be obsessed with the brand before. Oh, when I was in Tokyo, I only used Everyday Mineral brand. And I didn't know that they're from Austin, where I live right now. Wonder if they have a pop-up store or just, you know, if I can visit their factory. Next, I'm going to set my foundation and concealer. I'm going to use my Peach Perfect. This is from Too Faced. I'm going to set my under eye. This is my go-to setting powder. This is a really good setting powder. It's very fine. I think this is the finest powder that I ever tried. I don't use a lot of Too Faced, but I do have staples, a few staples from them. This powder and I love their matte lipsticks. The one that smells like peaches. I learned this from Desi Perkins. I love Desi. Desi is like one of my favorites. Jacqueline Hale is my favorite. Desi and Jacqueline Hale have their own techniques and they don't copy anybody else. They don't put makeup like most of the influencers. So I like that. I'm just gonna dust off this. So I set my foundation and I didn't bake, I just set it. All right, next, I actually want to use this palette right here. It's so pretty, it's fall, but I want to give it away to you guys. So this is gonna be in a giveaway. If you want to be in the giveaway, join the giveaway by subscribing to my channel. Give it a thumbs up, this video, and then comment down below your Instagram handle. Okay, so now we don't have a palette. <laughs> All right, so we got a palette. I got something from the mail. This is from the brand Folklore, and they sent me two palettes, which is Perth, Australia, and then this one is Sunrise. This one looks like, what does it look like? It looks like right there. This one is the Sunrise from Folklore. Oh, very similar, huh? This one is from Huda Beauty. And this one is from Focalure. So Focalure sent me this palette right here. Their brand is very affordable. This one is the Perth. I'm gonna use this and then I'm gonna use the brushes. I'm going to prep my eyes with my Painterly. This is MAC Paint Pot. I don't use any eyeshadow bases except for special occasions. Like I have to use a specific brand in the video. But this is my go-to. I'm gonna use the crease brush first. First shade is this one. This is Beaches. It looks like a sand color. This is gonna be our transition shade. I haven't done anything with my eyebrows yet. 
but they're looking good because I don't have psoriasis right now. All right, so I want something darker on my crease, so I'm going to get this one right here. This is coral, but I'm still using the same brush. This is the crease brush from Moda. Which is included in the Boxy Charm. I'm gonna get a blending brush. Just gonna blend here. Okay, I'm gonna add some more of that color right here. Create that round shape right here at the edge like we did the other side. Blend it again. All right. In the Violet Boss, there is like this shade right here, like the first shade that we use and the second shade that we use is like here, the cinnamon one. And the third shade is gonna be the green one. There's an emerald right here. But it's not, this one is not as green as that one. This one is a little bit turquoise, but it's pretty. So I'm gonna put that on my lid. All right, next I'm gonna get this dark brown right here is the Mount Elisa. And I'm gonna get a detail brush from Moda Pro. I'm gonna put that right here on my crease and darken the shade. Almost blending the green and the brown together. Okay, next I'm gonna grab more of that green with my detail brush and then put it right on my crease where we blended the green and the brown and blend it more with the brown shade. That green became a deeper shade of green and more metallic when you put it on top of a deeper shade like the brown that we just put which is very pretty and it's coming out like brown green shade. And then I'm gonna get the smudger brush from Moda Pro and then get this free mantle eyeshadow. Put it under my eye. Ooh. Fire. You know, there is something cool when you put a copper shade under your eyes. It creates light to your eyes and make your eyes lighter. At least it does to my eyes. It makes my eyes light brown and it's very pretty. That amber shade is just bouncing back on my iris. I'm going to fix my eyebrows and put a little bit. I'm gonna use this Benefit Precise My Brow Pencil and this is in the number four. The lady on the counter says I'm 3.5 by 4 because I like it dark. Sometimes when you put like foundation on your eyebrows, your eyebrow pencil gets a little bit lighter. That's why I chose a darker shade. This eye here needs a little bit of blending right here at the edge. I'm going back with my crease brush and just blend whatever is left in the brush. We'll put eyeliner first and this billion dollar brows which is the micro bladed brow pen. I'm so excited about this one. I think this is the favorite of my BoxyCharm this month. Yeah, I can't talk. I can't breathe when I'm doing this. See the difference? Oh my god. See the difference? This one and that. Now I'm gonna use the Hank and Henry. I like it. I like how they call it. Slick with it. <laughs> Slick with it. Blickety black. So this is a black liner. Okay, I don't know how I feel about this eyeliner. It's not very black. Let me finish it. It's not very black and it mixed with my eyeshadow and I don't like when that happens. Eyeliner is not very powerful. We'll see, I'll finish the rest and I'll let you guys know what I think about this eyeliner. 
done with the eyeliner. It's okay, but I prefer a darker eyeliner. It's not the best eyeliner that I would say like, hey, you guys get it. It's an okay eyeliner. If I receive it in a box, I'll still use it. <laughs> mascara, I'm going to use this Super Hero from It Cosmetics Mascara. I actually got this from BoxyCharm as well, and I've been using it ever since I tried it, ever since I got it from the box. Next, I'm going to put Scorch. This is from Urban Decay Eyeliner. Oh, and I'm going to put this under my tight line. This. And it's going to be copper as well. It's the same shade as we use with my under eyes. Very pretty. So I didn't use this Dr. Brandt because it says that I use it at night but I just want to feel it on my skin. So I just put a little bit. I don't want to waste any product. Well, it's going on my skin, so it's not wasting. Oh, it's very light. It has that cucumber fresh smell. And this one is like a gel moisturizer, is it? It feels very good and it's not sticky at all. So I think I'm gonna like this. I love Dr. Brand. Everything I've tried from their line, from the brand, is pretty good. So I'm very excited to use that tonight. All right, next I'm going to put my blush on. I'm going to use Batty on the Block from Kylie Cosmetics. Again, I've said it so many times. Kylie has one of the best blushes in the market she also has one of the best bronzers they're very buildable that's why they're really good blushes and bronzers are really good when they are buildable in my opinion <laughs> then i'm going to use prisma this is from dominic cosmetics i only have two dominic cosmetics products i have this one the highlighter palette and also i have the latte palette and they're so good Oh my gosh, I want to buy more. All right, I'm gonna get this highlight brush right here from Beige Cosmetics. And I'm gonna get this Fire Glow. This is a rose gold highlighter. It's very nice. This one is a cream highlight. This one is so good when you're not wearing foundation or when you're not wearing any powder on your face and you just want that nice glass skin. This one is really good. I use this over summer. This is so pretty. It has micro glitters. The shades are very unique. That's why I got this palette and I was so surprised about this palette. I thought it was gonna be meh, so-so. This is like an excellent palette. I love it. Big congrats to Christine Dominique. She's so pretty and I like her. She's nice. She's one of those nicest YouTubers. No drama, just doing what she's doing. She's creating good products and you know, just doing her own thing. Are you guys excited? What's next for Jacqueline Hill? I can't wait for her next launch. All right, so that's gonna be it. I'm going to spray. I'm gonna use this Jeffree Star Morphe spray. I always use this now. It's so good. You know what smells? Oh my gosh. It smells like Kool-Aid. Like when you are making that red Kool-Aid. <laughs> when you mix it in the water, that's how it smells. Yes, Kool-Aid. Also from Focalure, they sent me some lip products. I want to try this one. I found that this is so pretty for fall. I swatched them and came out so good this shade is flirt it's called flirt and it's a cream liquid matte it doesn't dry down so it's just like lipstick the stained lips oh I suck so this is the focal or lip and this is in Flirt again. I think that's pretty. And if I want to overline it, I think I can do it. Okay, like that. I love this shade and it's very fall. It has the perfect amount of red and orange in it. All right, so this is the finish look. 
So from the boxy charm, my favorite is the Billion Dollar Brow. This is the Brow Pen Microblade Effect Brow Pen. It just made my eyebrows look so good, look so thick and fresh. Like, I look younger. Next favorite is gonna be the five-piece brush set from Moda Pro. These are the eye set, and I love brushes like this. They are detailed brushes. They create that precise eye look. They're must-haves. Third favorite is gonna be the Dr. Brandt Moisturizer. I haven't used it, but I know. I know for sure that I'm gonna love it. Dr. Brandt has not failed me yet, and night moisturizers are my thing. Next one is the Violet Voss. I didn't use this one because I want you guys to have it. One of you is gonna have this eyeshadow palette. Join the giveaway, subscribe my channel, like this video, and leave a comment down below. Put your Instagram handle. Follow me on Instagram. If you don't know, I always do sale alerts. The only thing that I didn't like from the box is the Hank and Henry eyeliner. It's not very black. It's really good though. The brush is really good. On camera, it's pretty good. It looks very good, but in person, it's not that good and it blended with my eyeshadow. I had to triple four times line it. It's not cheap eyeliner and I can tell this is quality eyeliner. The brush and the packaging, similar to Kylie Cosmetics. So I just didn't like this because the ink is not too black. When you say black, I want it black, like real black. All right guys, so that's it for my video. I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do. Subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell for more upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Karina and I'm Swatch Queen. See you in my next video. Bye.